Good morning and welcome to beginning the day with God, coming and going, on Wednesday the 13th of December. We're now in the season of Advent, a time when we as Christians think of Jesus coming, whose presence and encouragement gets us going. A world that was paralysed with fear and anxiety before he came found freedom of heart and freedom of action through his presence and encouragement, and that freedom is with us still. Our opening music today, Come Thou Redeemer of the Earth, by Michael Praetorius. Lord Jesus Christ, we have come here to worship you in this glad season of Advent, a season of expectation, of celebration, and above all, of preparation. We come before you now and ask you to help us be ready, to give thanks for your coming, to recognise the ways in which you come to us now, and to welcome you when you come again. Open our hearts as we worship you, so that all we share may give us a deeper understanding of this season and a fuller understanding of your love. Amen. In Advent, we wait for you. God the Maker, Jesus the Storyteller, Holy Spirit of Life. In Advent, we cry for you. God of Justice, Jesus of Bethlehem, Holy Spirit of Hope. In Advent, we long for you. You, God, are our love, our warmth, our light. Amen. This morning's reading comes from Matthew's Gospel, chapter 2, verses 10 to 12. When the wise men saw that the star had stopped, they were, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. Thanks be to God. What would Mary and Joseph have done with myrrh and frankincense? stuck as they were in a cave or a stable, with many more basic needs. One of the things we do in choosing what gifts we give to other people is to consider what might be of interest or help to them. Gold, yes, a poor person can always find use for gold. There is an imaginative way of offering a kind of gold, frankincense and myrrh to God as a Christmas present, in which the gold is the most acceptable to God. In some countries, gifts are exchanged on the Feast of St Nicholas, the 6th of December. In other countries, the ceremony is held over until Epiphany, the 6th of January. Suppose now we are preparing a gift to give to God on the Feast of Epiphany. Let myrrh represent the past, our past life. Let frankincense represent our future. And let gold represent our present moment, here, now, today. Myrrh is a precious ointment, mainly associated with anointing the dead. Mary and Joseph must have been especially doubtful about the meaning of such a gift to the infant child. What did these wise men know or foresee about his future? It was not a very celebratory gift for a newborn boy, even if it was expensive. 
Myrrh can represent what we offer to God, all our past, to be anointed and laid to rest, all our worries, all our anxieties, all our feelings of guilt over anything and everything we have ever done. All sins are forgiven, according to the letter of the Hebrews. So let all our sins be buried in God's forgiveness. God loves us even though we are sinners. This is the best part of the good news that this child came into the world to announce. And now we think about frankincense. Incense goes up in clouds of smoke and the future is like a cloud in front of us. Let frankincense represent our gift to God of the whole future. So much of our time and energy is spent worrying about the future, near and far. What will the dentist say tomorrow? Will the meal planned for dinner turn out well? What about friends that are not well? What about the children's exams and prospects? The list is endless. Mostly we worry about things that might go wrong, about pain and suffering, about how fragile is any good fortune that may be ours at present. It would be a great gift to God to try to stop worrying about the future. It does tend to get easier as the years go by when we reckon up how many times we have worried about things in the past and yet we have survived them. Whatever happens, God will still love us, even though we may be suffering. Suffering is not God blaming us. Success is not praise from God. Everything will be all right. All will be well. And then gold. Let gold represent the present moment. The present moment is the only one we have. And the present is where God is. Not in the past nor in the future. Time spent wandering through the past or rummaging through the future is time wasted as far as God is concerned. We can learn from our past and prepare a little for any obviously likely future event. But that is the same as living now. The waste comes from trying to undo the past with anything other than God's forgiveness or from setting our hearts on what is uncertain or will be well and therefore all is well. We are each involved in a story that has a happy ending, though we cannot yet see the how or the when. Let us pray. God of our lives, we welcome this new day it is your gift to us, a new creation, a promise of resurrection. Thank you for the grace of being alive this morning. Thank you for the sleep that we have been refreshed by. Thank you for this chance to make a new beginning. This day, Lord, is full of promise and opportunity May we not waste it. This day is full of mystery and the unknown. Help us to face it without fear and anxiety. This day is blessed with beauty and adventure. Make us fully alive to it all. Amen. Believing the promises of God as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Our Father, Father, who who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. God of Advent and of waiting times, we know both darkness and light. We live with it and in spite of it, and we give you thanks for the gifts of night time and the daytime, the light time and the dark time. Amen. The wonderful Counselor guide you, the mighty God protect you, the everlasting Father be with you, the Prince of Peace inspire you, and the blessing of God be upon you, now and evermore. Amen. Amen.